Hello, I'm Michelle Peard, and I'm so excited to be here today to show you a wonderful holiday project using acrylic. I love acrylic. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, let's begin this fabulous project. I'm going to start by bringing in my scrapbook paper, and as you can see, I've chosen four coordinating pieces of paper. And you can use paper, fabric, wrapping paper, even metal to make your project as long as you have four pieces and they measure five by five inches. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to a fabulous product that I designed for Sunday International called the Stitch Acrylic Scrap Pot. Now these come in all different shapes and sizes and what I love about this acrylic is that you can see right through onto the paper which design you would like to do. So you can visualize and I'm going to focus right in on this star ornament and I like to pick up a little bit of the yellow because that that adds some dimension. Now next I'm going to trace the template and it's very easy because the acrylic is nice and stiff and because it's clear I can easily see if I accidentally shift my piece of acrylic I can place it right back where it needs to be. Now I'm using a pen as you can see here because we're on camera I want you to be able to see this but I normally use a pencil and that way uh, I can erase the lines if for some reason I don't cut even. Okay now we're ready to cut out and for the sake of saving time I've already cut out my pieces here and you can see I have four pieces and now I'm going to remove the holes on the last piece. Now I'd like to show you a favorite tip that I use when I'm using scrapbook paper because the one I'm using is a little bit thin so I need to back the paper with my cardstock and this is just a scrap piece of cardstock and I'm going to punch a hole right where I've indicated. And I just rotate my paper along and you can see that this way the hole removes completely and I have no jamming of my hole punch. And you can use that even with fabric. Okay, now we're ready to embellish our four pages. And as you can see, since I'm giving this as a gift, this says Season's Greetings, and I think that looks just fine. Now, next to that, I want to show you some wonderful stickers I picked up at my local store, Jazzy Crafts. And I just love this store because of their variety, and it's all available online as well. Now, I'm going to insert this Christmas because I want my pot to say Merry Christmas. And next, I'm going to move over to my ornament shape and again to pick up the yellow I'm going to transfer the word piece right down here at a diagonal kind of picks up the uh, geometry here in the paper. Now the last thing I want to do is add my photo and I'm using a photo of my mother and I in my brand new PT Cruiser convertible and I took her for a tour and I think this will be a nice reminder of our trip together this year. So I'm going to flip that over and I'm just adding some adhesive can use any adhesive as long as it's acid free. And I'm going to place the photo right down onto the piece of paper. Now I think this needs a little gussy up so I am going to add the word memories because after all when you have mom in a convertible that's a memory. So I'm going to stick this last sticker right here uh, to adhere the bottom part of my photo and I think that makes a splash of color. Okay, now we're ready to begin assembling our pot. And the first thing I do is I rotate my papers around. And I do this so I can get a nice aerial view of my pot. It sort of looks like someone flattened it. And that way I can make any adjustments if I like to the pot. And I think this looks just fine. Next, I'm going to bring in my stitch acrylic sides. And I'm going to place them right over the paper. And it doesn't matter which side of the acrylic I use. And I'm going to first start with these two corners right here because I want to remember the order of my paper. And I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to sandwich the paper together. Now you can see I have the photos and the paper right side up. So I'm next going to insert my ribbon. Now again, I got this ribbon at Jazzy Crafts. And I'm going to bend the ribbon and thread it through the hole and I can rotate it around. I'm going to set this so you can see it. And I'm just going to tie a basic knot. And I like to do two knots to secure it. Now if your ribbon is a little bit long, you can trim that later once you have your pot all together so it's nice and square. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time on the top left corner here. 
Now you can use ribbon, you can use wire. I've used shoestrings. Imagine a birthday party for a child with shoestrings. Uh, you could use anything you'd like to embellish. Okay, so now that's done. Now I have to do the other two sides. And again, I've done that to save time here so you can see. I now have, it looks like, two complete books. Now, speaking of book, I'm going to open this just like a book and lie it flat. I'm then going to pick up my remaining piece, open it again like a book, and put it together flat. And I just have four remaining holes of which I'm going to insert the ribbon. Again, you don't need to see me put the ribbon through, so I'm going to bring in my completed piece. Now, doesn't this look wonderful? I'm going to open this, and I usually at home I will set this on one of those microwave carousels, and I'll turn it so I can take a look at each side to see do I like the way this looks. Now I've noticed here that I'd like to add one more embellishment there. So I'm going to bring back in my wonderful stickers and I'm going to place the word joy right to the top here. So isn't that neat how you can add a three-dimensional effect right on top of the acrylic? I told you I love acrylic. Now we're ready to put our poinsettia right into the pot and the next thing we're going to do is add a final embellishment because after all this is a gift for my mom. I'm going to be using the poinsettia shape and as I mentioned earlier Sunday International makes a lot of different shapes and designs in the stitch acrylic and I've taken a clear poinsettia and I am going to tint that using a solvent based ink pad and I'm using the color red of course to match the poinsettia and I'm going to tap onto the piece of acrylic and then I would heat set that and let that cool for just a few seconds. The next step would then be to stitch your poinsettia to the tag and I've left this uncovered so you could see that I've used gold floss and I've inserted beginning from the bottom up through the holes and down through the center five times. Tied a knot on the back and again I would reinforce that with another card tag. I'm going to then stamp Merry Christmas in the same matching red ink. I'm going to edge the tag, add a gingham ribbon, and then put it right here into my floral pick, which you can get these at any floral supply place. And I'm going to secure that in there. And you can rearrange the flowers as you see fit. Now, maybe poinsettias aren't your thing. I have some other ideas to show you. I just think this tag looks wonderful and sets off the whole gift. Now let me show you this tree that I put together. This is just a 12 inch artificial tree which I added packages and I glued them also to the base of the tree for some added dimension and you can see that I've added some stickers and some paper just like we did on the poinsettia pot. Now I want to show you a spooky project I just completed for Halloween. I have used the various scrapbook pages on the inside, but on the outside I've added rub-ons. As I mentioned earlier, you can use all sorts of things to attach to the acrylic, including tinting. My trick-or-treaters ate all my candy, so I'm ready to store this stitch acrylic pot for the future, and I'm just going to fold it flat and put it away for the holiday. Now, speaking of flat, how wonderful is this, that it folds flat for mailing. Oh, I just love that. Now I want to show you one last gift and you can see that we just used four pieces of the acrylic but I'm using two here in this and I've created a wonderful album. Now I've started with some 22 gauge craft wire and I've inserted multicolor beads and wrapped it around the top two holes. I've again added my embellishments to the outside which are the stickers and as I turn this you can see that I've lined the same scrapbook paper into the inside cover so I can add photos or other embellishments even journaling. Now the center is so fun. I've once again taken the same craft wire, I've curved it around to look like steam, and I've taped that between two inside pieces of the scrapbook paper. Now couldn't you see sending this to somebody instead of a Christmas card? What a wonderful gift to give to someone that you love. Speaking of love, I've enjoyed being here with you today, and I can't wait to come back and show you some future projects. Happy holidays. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.